so hi guys so today we would be looking at batch and online learning uh, so this is a new topic in ml theory part so uh, in machine learning there is another criteria that is used to classify machine learning systems uh, that whether the system can learn incrementally from a stream of incoming data or not so uh, not a problem if you don't have any idea regarding that so i would just explain you the batch learning first through an example suppose this is your model and this is the data this is the whole data uh, this is just a uh, plus symbol for now yeah so uh, when you uh, give your model the data you have and after that uh, once your model gets trained you deploy it to the production part the production part so now your model is performing uh, well but after uh, one or two days you think that okay we need some more data to uh, give our model and train it better this time so this time you cannot give this data to your model and expect that the model will perform according to this data now you would have to stop the whole model you will have to train the whole model from scratch you would have to give this model stop first of all stop this model and give this model another set of data that you want to add and then train your whole model and then put it to the production and deployment so in batch learning the system is uh, incapable of learning incrementally it must be trained using all the available data in simple words if you want to add more data to your model so this was your model and you want to add more data for better training and results you will have to do everything from scratch you will have to uh, uh, stop the old model and replace it with the new one just like here i did our model was performing well but i decided that i need more data for that i will stop the model put by new data here to this model and after that we would we would start start the training again uh, batch model is basically uh, batch learning is basically good for the models which don't update the data frequently means you are updating your data once in a month once in a week like something like that not if uh, no this is not meant for you if you are updating your data regularly it requires more usage of cpu and training takes more time so yeah it, it is it is costly so this is how uh, batch learning uh, happens you have to stop the model if you want to add the uh, new data and train it from the bigger scratch now coming to online learning so you must have got an idea that what online learning must be because in batch learning the system is incapable of uh, learning incrementally but in online learning the system uh, inc uh, learns incrementally by feeding it data instances sequentially the other individually or by small groups called mini batches so online uh, learning happens like this this is your training ml algorithm you constantly give it data in one hour two hours three hours or according to whatever time sequence you are following the evaluations happen soon it uh, the launch has been done it runs and learn new data on the fly is been given to this part so suppose this is the main data you started on you evaluated you launched your uh, whole ml algorithm uh, model and then now you are giving new data and here it learns and run and learn run and learn it happens like that there is no restriction that you have to stop anything or you have you cannot give your data once it has uh, it is being uh, processed and all you would uh, you are free to do whatever you want uh, in online learning you won't have to create uh, the whole model or train your whole model from scratch so uh, online learning is great for systems that receive data as a continuous flow and need to adapt to change rapidly or uh, at autonomously uh, so online learning algorithms can be used to train systems on huge data sets that cannot fit in one machine's main memory now suppose i i have one machine here x let that be x uh, and i have one machine here which is y so now this is the model i want to train so uh, i uh, put here around 3 terabytes of data just imagine i have put here 3 terabytes of data and this memory uh, and i am training this on the this model on that but my actual data was 5 terabytes but my models uh, but my machines memory got full because of the production uh, because of the production deployment part that is being done the training has been done and the huge size of the data set now what what can i do uh, uh, if, if this case was in batch learning I would have to take a new machine and from there I would have to put more data in that and then I have to train it from scratch just imagine 3 terabyte data can take up to uh, just uh, imagine 1 week for now now would I wait 1 week more for if I want to add more, more 2 terabyte of data no 
what I would do in online learning, I would simply uh, put the take the model in the another machine and I would put that data simply into the running algorithm that you can see uh, and the launch would run and learn from the data that you have provided to it. So, uh, so one thing I would not want to clarify here, all the learning that we have talked about batch learning, online learning are done offline. The name online learning is uh, I, I know a bit confusing. You can uh, imagine that as incrementally learning. It is just naming online learning for uh, some reason that the uh, uh, others must have go gone, th gone through but all the learning is being done offline. So one important parameter of online learning systems is how fast they should adapt to the changing data that is called learning rate means you are constantly, constantly giving data to, uh, to your model. Now uh, the, the uh, rate at which the learning systems adopt to the new data is known as learning rate. You must be knowing about learning rate if you saw my TensorFlow series in that we talked about how the learning rate uh, is basically uh, managed. Uh, we used to put it 0.001 I remember. So yeah, this was it for batch learning and online learning. So in batch learning the system is incapable of taking data constantly. You, If you want to add more data you would have to stop your system and train it from scratch and then pro pro deploy it to production. And in, in, uh, in, in the online learning uh, the, you, you can co constantly add data to, to your ongoing ML algorithm and train it and run and make the model run and learn the model. So you, you are running the data on which you are frequently providing it in sequence and then you are making the, your model uh, learn more things by providing new data constantly. You are not waiting for uh, one week or two weeks for again and again training it. You are constantly providing data on the on the fly to the model and it is learning from that and then pr pr putting that in production part. So this is how batch learning and online learning uh, works. So thank you for watching the video. Thank you and have a nice day.